There is an issue within the social sciences about uh, replicating uh, results of studies that are being carried out. Uh, maybe this is wider than just the social sciences uh, because uh, in research you, you would like to enable other researchers to to understand and to follow your work, to carry out additional improvement to your work once you're done, and also to um, perhaps check whether what you have done is adequate and, and um, at the highest level that can, can be reached. And I think that nowadays with the software that we have, and with the data management tools that we have and that so some of them are um, provided by the university. Some you can uh, download free sometimes even. But these tools actually provide researchers nowadays with a great opportunity to hold track or to keep track of all of the procedures that they carry carry out through their analysis and it's just important to know how to use them and, and to really use them all throughout the work in order to enable other researchers to then um, be able to look at your work to check it if they would like to and more importantly even to continue from the, the point that you uh, reached and carry this work even further and I actually spend a lot of time to doc in order to uh, document my work not just because I would like to make it um, possible for researchers in the future to look at it and to maybe um, continue the thread of work that I'm carrying out but also for my own purposes because um, as I, I'm sure many of you know um, doing a PhD is um, something that takes at least three years and it's something that evolves within time sometimes you would like uh, in your second year to go back and look look at things that you uh, were doing in your first year and to revise them or to understand what have you done so it's very very important I guess to keep track and to always make notes of the things that you um, carried out of the procedures the analytical procedures that you carried out and you can do them with the software that are provided nowadays and that are available nowadays also not just to keep track of what uh, uh, procedure you were executing, but also why have you executed this specific analytical procedure. Because when you're actually doing the research and you're very much invested in the data analysis phase, you know exactly why are you doing this. It's very clear in your mind, it's very vivid, you do it every day for hours a day but after several months when you moved on it wouldn't necessarily be as uh, fresh as it was so sometimes you may um, even forget why exactly you use this method it's very important when you're going back to the documentation that you yourself created to um, be able to find there the reason why have you uh, used this procedure for what purposes and to, to revise it and to understand whether this is something that you would like now to use as well or you would like to change it and to use other um, methodic or uh, analytical procedures. So in a way these are I think this is part of doing a PhD, also to uh, be responsible of how you're documenting your own work for yourself and for others. Specifically in my case, I, I do invest a lot of time and energy in this uh, part uh, of my studies. And I guess that if someone would like now to replicate my work, 
then all this person would have to uh, to access it, the files that I created because uh, of course when I first started I downloaded the data files from um, from the archive but um, then I just started to uh, modify them and merge files and create new variables out of the ones that were already there so my uh, uh, data set now is nowhere similar to the one that I started with. So this person who would like to replicate my work would have to get this file, which I'm happy to provide, of course. There's nothing uh, um, there that uh, is, should be under a specific uh, licensing. It's all uh, free for public and academic use. This person would also have to gain access to the syntax file, files that I created. Again, this is, I don't see this as any, there's no problem there. Uh, someone who gets these files can immediately just um, run them over and have the result that I, I created or I produced. And of course, uh, the thesis itself would provide a person that would like to replicate my work with the uh, theoretical consideration that actually are behind all of this analytical work. Because of course, the analytical works, work that I carried out is based on theoretical framework. Um, so I don't think that just taking the data set and the syntax and running over it would really provide you much. You would have to also look at the theoretical background from which these analytical procedures were carried out or were influenced.